Welcome back to SignalsAZ.com, another Cast 11 podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I have the woman herself, (laughs) the gal responsible for everybody working in the Quad Cities. Oh, a little bit of it, right? Catherine Anderson? A little bit of it, yes. (laughs) What is your official title? What do you do? What is going on? I am the Career Engagement Specialist with the Regional Economic Development Center at Yavapai College. Oh my gosh. How long did it take you to learn that title? That's like when it, I was getting married. I memorized how to spell my last name all the way. The I know. Chapter. It's not a short title. That's why I basically tell people I'm a career coach. There you go. It's it's simple. And they remember that. And do you do that for people? You sit down, kind of help them find their path? Yes. I will work with them from start to finish. What do you want to do? Okay. Now that we figured that out and we, we do the game plan and do help with resumes, uh, interview skills, We'll do the job search. So start to finish. That's awesome. See, I remember doing that as a kid, kind of, you know, where do you want to be? What do you want to do? So that's always super helpful. Yes. Um, what are some, so you guys have a job fair coming up. Yes, we do. And you guys do this, is it once a year, twice a year? You know, you do it um, at least what, all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Uh, we have certain ones we do annually, like the upcoming Prescott Valley job fair. And then we have others that we hold throughout the year that are more geared towards our students. And we call those our career expos. So the number okay. changes every year, how many we do, but yeah, all the time, all the time, all the time. We have some kind of job fair going on. So if I needed a job, could, and I'm not part of Yavapai College, I'm not a student, could I schedule some time with you? Would that be something that would work? Or is this kind of a, a student thing? Or You could absolutely schedule time with me. I am a little different than other colleges where they're geared towards their students and alumni only. I am both student and community focused. Okay. So as I, when I'm in my office, I always point this way for students and <laughs> this way for community. And, and my boss knows what that means. Uh, so yes, if you were a community member watching this, listening to this going, wait, I need her help. You could absolutely contact me and we could schedule an appointment and get started. So what are some of the challenges that are facing? I know it's, I hear all the time, oh, I can't find a job. There's nothing going on. True. No. That's not true. We have some companies that they're fully staffed and they're good. Um, And then we have other ones uh, or we wouldn't be having job fairs right now. Uh, We have other companies that are having issues. Uh, They might hire someone and two weeks later be hiring again uh, because we are having some issues post pandemic. A lot of companies are having issues with soft skills right Mm -hmm. now. Um, That pandemic where we worked in the Zoom box for a couple of years did not help us, especially, uh, I'm going to say it, with our younger generations. Uh, We lost some of those skills. We lost learning how to communicate effectively, uh, leadership, time management. I hear from employers all the time, uh, our employees don't know how to arrive to work on time. Uh, They have too many absences in a month. Uh, They don't know how to communicate effectively. And if we give them projects, they don't know how to work together. They don't know how to develop a plan. Those were all skills we lost during the pandemic. When you're working in the Brady Bunch squares, Mm -hmm. it was so easy to tune out. Or you'd see people in a Zoom meeting, but looking down the entire time working on something else. Or playing on their phone. Or playing on their phone. Yes. And I can say... Uh, because we were working from home also during that time. My daughter was in high school and we shared a, the same office at home together. And why she she was working. She had no choice. Mom was there. Plus, she's a good girl. Um, mm-hmm. But she would show me, Mom, come check this out. Yes, yeah. And there's students in there playing games and she could see it. And as a teacher, what could you really do about it? Yeah. I mean, nobody really knew how to handle this. No, their hands were tied. And what's crazy, it's that year of just being able to kind of do what you wanted. Mm-hmm. And it it's, I mean, we're what, three years later, at least three and a half years since, you know, everything kind of got back to normal, but what an effect it had on so many people. Oh, it's having long-term effects. And, and like I was just saying, and that's affecting our employers because those that were in the workplace a long time, I, you know, it, it might've caused a little stumble, mm-hmm. but for those that we're trying to bring into our workforce, they don't have the skills now. They lost it right. during that transition. And that's what employers, that's the issue they're having. Well, everybody wants to work from home. Like, okay. Yes. Um, so can I take the drive-through order from my house? Like, could I just pop on my cell phone? and just, like, Exactly. 
<laughs> and you know, and there are some positions that we did learn probably could be done from mm -hmm. home. If you have an employee that's actually going to sit there and work diligently and not get up and go watch TV or go for a walk or go grocery shopping, because unfortunately, you know, not everybody is going to be that uh, great 100% into it employee. Yeah. And it's easy when you're at home to get distracted. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm just going to throw the load, you know, load of clothes in the washing machine and I'll just switch them over real quick. And then, oh, well, I'm in here. I'm just going to organize this little shelf real quick. And it just, it turns into a battle. So yeah. I just, I know I'm not strong enough to work from home all the time. A day here, a day there, great. But if I was doing it every day, I think I'd get really good at it. <laughs> I would, you know, we, um, at the college, again, we were home for a long time. And I will say at the end of it, I wanted to be back mm -hmm. in the office. I missed being with my coworkers. I missed that interaction. Mm -hmm. Could I do my position from home? Absolutely. Yeah. I could sit here on a Zoom call or a phone call email and help you with your resume. I could, I could totally right. do that. But I need that interaction. I want that face to face. Something's missing if I don't have that. Yeah. So yes, we can do some positions from home. But not everything. I, I would like to have my heart surgeon, if I needed a heart surgeon, <laughs> actually in the room with me. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> that would be great. Yes. Well, in my line of work, so many of our people are remote. So we've got like our graphic designers over here. And then we actually have one here. And it's so much easier to, you know, sit across the table and design something. And we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just lose that when you've got that, you know, Okay, do you understand what I'm saying, Susie? And it's just, you miss that collaboration. And yes. I think I made it three months and I called my boss. I'm like, I'm going into the office. And that's another thing I was mm -hmm. going to say. So many people want to work remote, but I think once they do, they see the other side of it. That, okay, this is oh, great that I'm mm -hmm. in my office at home, but I miss everybody. I don't know what's going on with mm -hmm. Susie down the hall. I miss water cooler talk. I miss water cooler talk, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think a lot of people, they start to find out that maybe hybrid, is what they really want. Okay, I'll be in the office three days a week and maybe mm -hmm. one or two at home. Or maybe I have a modified schedule that I don't work eight to five. I work 10 to six or 10 to seven mm -hmm. so that I can get my kids off to school or I, I can do this, but still have my eight hour days in. And I think that's what we're seeing now is a trend that it isn't so much the eight to five anymore. It is the hybrid modified work schedule and that companies, when they can, are modifying the, the eight to five work day okay, maybe it doesn't need to be eight to five. Maybe so-and-so could work nine to six. And as long as somebody else is here at eight, we mm -hmm. could have this person start at nine. And yes, and then they can get their kid to school, right. stagger the schedule. Or some companies are even doing that. You know, if you can get your 40 hours, get all the work in. If it's done in 35 hours, we're good. Right. We just want the work in. And again, every company's different on how they do that. But that is one thing I think COVID did show us. It doesn't have to be the 40 hour, mm -hmm. eight to five, Monday through Friday. Well, and I think with such a demand that businesses are getting a little more creative, maybe yes. in how they're getting people. So where are some of the, the like the businesses that are going to be at the job fair? What are some businesses that are, are really hurting for people right now? One thing I think that's been consistent since COVID is uh, health care. Really? Still? We, still healthcare. Um, and actually, Dignity Health, uh, they're one of our main sponsors of the job fair. They're going to be there, and they have a lot of openings. Uh, another one is still education. We're seeing education has not rebounded. Um we're going to have uh, all industries are going to be at the at the job fair. We've got healthcare. Oh, another one's law enforcement. Okay. We have several law enforcement from local to state, federal, the Border Patrol is going to be at the job fair. Wow. And yeah, I, I'm actually amazed at how many law enforcement agencies are going to be at this job fair. And that just tells you right there mm -hmm. that they are in desperate need. Uh, so like I said, education, we have manufacturing. Um, I'm just looking at the list. Yeah, H Hospitality, you name it, it's going to be at the job fair this year. So anything and everything is hiring right now. So when people say, no, there's nothing out there. Nothing out there. I'm like, contact me. Yeah. I can tell you who's hiring. I can get and you yes, to work tomorrow, right? I could get you to work tomorrow because there is everything hiring mm -hmm. right now. Maybe the company next door to you is not, but down the road, it's hiring. Well, and what I told my son during like all of the pandemic stuff was now is the time for somebody with zero experience 
to get some sort of an internship into these HVAC companies, any of these trade companies, mm-hmm. because there was such a desperation that they were like, you, you can breathe, you're standing, exactly. get over here and well, you've got a pulse, we can find work for you, we will train you. Well, and that, that goes back to what I was telling you about the soft skills, that a lot of companies are like, we'll train you. Like you just said, mm-hmm. we'll train you on the hard skills. But if you can come in with those soft skills, if you, if can, you can show up, if you can show up, if you can show us you can communicate and you have some leadership, those things that we can't necessarily train you, we'll train you on HVAC. Mm-hmm. We'll train you on the hard skills. Just show us you can be a and punctual employee. What a wonderful opportunity because back in my day, it was like you, those positions didn't open up and you had to be very trained. It was almost like you had to find training to even Mm -hmm. make the the cut to be one of these guys and or girls. And so it's, you know, a really good time. Yeah. And they're they're willing to train you now. Just show up at work. (laughs) (laughs) That's so hard though. It's so early. I know. (laughs) Come to work. So your job fair is Tuesday, September 17th. Three to six. So that's good. See, you made it so people could sleep in a little bit. Yeah. So this is an afternoon job fair. The actual times are 3.30 to 6. Okay. And then the 3 to 3.30 is what we're calling early admission hours okay. for our veterans, those with disabilities, okay. and our older or seasoned job seekers. We just want to give that extra little half an hour for uh, those three categories to come in. Um, we won't turn away anybody. That- right shows up but we really want on time uh, yeah on time (laughs) uh but we wanted to give an extra half an hour for them but it goes till six o'clock so yes even if somebody's already working um looking for another job you know they need a job number two or they're looking to you know move up like they're underemployed right now and they don't get off work till five o'clock they have that hour hour. yeah so we can sneak over after work and come check out the job fair wow you look really nice today yeah got a job interview (laughs) <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Um, what? So what do you recommend they wear, they bring? What What do you think? We always say dress to impress, dress professionally. And that doesn't mean they need to have a suit and tie on, but it does mean, you know, a nice pair of slacks. Even it could be a really nice pair of jeans and a nice shirt. And when I say nice jeans, that's not the ones with the holes in them. Um, those are super stylish. They're so. super stylish. And I know they can be super expensive. Yeah. But don't wear those ones. And I have to say this every year because we will get people that show up looking like they rolled out of bed and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and you're in your pajamas and slippers. So no, dress professionally. And maybe you're coming right after school. We understand that. So just put on a little nicer outfit for school that day. And it could like be, like I said, a pair of jeans. Just put on a nicer shirt and your pair of jeans. Uh, You should bring resumes with you. And if you don't have a resume, then you call me in advance and I can help you with your resume. And we always say that you should have a resume geared towards a specific employer. So we understand at this event, you may not be able to do that. However, you could. The list is available on our website. These are the ones I'm going to target. Yes. So you could really go and have uh, more than one resume available. And imagine being that business owner that's sitting there at the job fair and somebody has brought me a resume tailored to my position that's open, I would think that'd give you a little bit of an edge over yes. some of the people that are there. You could make, score so many points if you came dressed really professional, you had a resume geared towards that employer, and you did your homework in advance. Because again, all these companies and the positions are hiring for are available on our website. So if you go online and let's say, let's say you did like U.S. Border Patrol, So you go uh, research them. You could find out all this information about the Border Patrol, how long they've been in existence, where their office is located, if they've won any awards, and go to that table and be like, so, U.S. Border Patrol, in 19-whatever, you know, you won an award for this. Last year, you arrested, I don't know, this many, whatever it is. speaks to me, and I want to be a part of this. Yeah, and then they're going, wow, they did their homework. They they know about us. They care. Mm Mm-hmm. We're taking, you know, we're writing your name down. A little star right here. Exactly. Mm Because sometimes it's not the recruiter. Sometimes they just send someone to man the table. Or sometimes it could be the hiring manager or the owner, depending on the company. So you don't know who you're going to be talking to that day. You want to impress. And if if you just show up and you'll be like, yeah, so who are you? you? Free pen. Yeah, what do you got? Put some candy on the table. You could have the best resume in the world, but if you're still in your pajamas or you look like you don't care and who are you, then 
you're not scoring any points. Right. You're, they're not going to remember you. But on the other hand, maybe you don't have a resume, but you show you've done all your homework. You show you're really into that company. You're willing to learn. They're like, okay, put resume aside. We want this person. And some companies will do interviews the day of the job fair. And you could wow somebody so much that maybe they weren't even planning on doing an interview, but they're like, we got to have this person. We're not letting you go. We're not letting you go. We're going to go over to that back room and do an interview right now. Nice. So you want to come prepared. And I, there have been companies that make hires the day of. Now, not every company can because they have mm -hmm. their, their rules, their policies. But I know I've been there and, and have had job seekers walk out going, they just made me an offer. I got a job. I got a job. That's awesome. So you just don't know what to expect. So come there prepared that I'm going to meet my next employer today. Go in with that attitude. Today. Dress today. for it. Today's the day. Today's the day. Exactly. That's awesome. So it's Tuesday, September 17th, 3.30 to 6, but doors will open early for anybody that needs just some little extra time. Yes. And how do they contact you if they just need some help? Like, please, Catherine, help me find a job. What do I do? They can call me. My direct number is 928-776-2008, or they can email me at Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, dot Anderson at yc.edu. Perfect. Yep. That sounds, I mean, you've got a great, it's going to be a great day. Come ready to go. Show up on time. Do not show up at 6.05 and think you're going to be able to get, yeah. meet people at their car. Hey, tried yeah. to get here, but you know. 6.05, they're already cleaning up, walking out the door. <laughs> They've been there. We may open the doors at three, but they start showing up at two. So by 6.05. They're done. They're it's done. dinner time. They get dinner time. Yeah. Cook food. So perfect. Thank you so much for coming in. This is so needed in our community. Um, next time my kids tell me, no, there's nobody's hiring out there. I know they're telling stories. Yeah. They're telling stories because I can get them a job. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for everything that Yellow Pie College is doing for our community. It's great partnering with you guys and um, sharing all your stories. And um, you guys are just doing great things over there. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. And we will see you next time.